Have you ever thought you would leave your family and earn 1 million yen a month, and move somewhere else like this girl, it's equivalent to nearly 200 million VND, it all started from a poor cat, brought the curse of 1 million yen to her and then that money put her in prison and was shunned by her own family with no way out, this beautiful girl named Suzuko, after graduating, worked as a seller, while working at a cafe, because her salary was too small, she still had to live with her family. One day, her friend suggested that she want to share a room and share the room fee, so they both decided to go look for a house to rent later, when I found a place I like, suddenly my friend told Suzuko that her boyfriend was coming to live without even a word of warning, Suzuko didn't know how refuse, but anyway, the rent was divided into three and three, she had her own room, so she didn't pay much attention to the problem that arose when the day she moved in, Suzuko friend didn't come. Only her boyfriend showed up, because they broke up, Suzuko felt depressed, when she first entered society, she got a slap in the face, but the rent wasn't enough, so she decided to stay and find a solution later, while she was brainstorming, then suddenly there was a cat meowing, so Suzuko gave it to her, he went into the house and then went out to buy food for himself even though it was pouring rain, thinking he would have a high priest to keep him company, but he didn't expect that when he returned home, the cat was thrown out by the housemaid Suzuko after hearing that, she immediately ran out to search and appeared before her eyes as a cat that had lost its life in the rain, the scene was so cold and cold that the world and people were angry at the actions of the young man, Suzuko threw all his things out while he was home, but he didn't expect him to report to the police and accused Suzuko of causing him to lose a million yen in those things, Suzuko knew that he was slandering him. Unfortunately, she had no evidence to prove that he was lying, so she had to endure the pain, she was locked up in a detention center and fined 200,000 yen, after being released, Suzuko returned to her father family, the mother and aunt tried to act as if nothing was wrong, the female lead happily chatted as usual, but her young brother was not like that. He angrily stood up and blamed his sister for why she came back to affect his studies, there no school that accepts students whose relatives have committed crime, the whole family seemed to be in an explosion, arguing with each other so much that it gave them a headache, so Suzuko shouted that she would leave the house when she earned enough 1 million yen to save money, not bothering her family anymore, she decided that from now on she would live by her own means and not depend on anyone, from that day on, Suzuko did many things at the same time from advertising to cleaning the environments, even working as a customer service representative, all with the goal of making enough money and going to a completely different place away from the people she knew to start her life over, Suzuko didn't know that her younger brother wasn't really responsible, on the contrary, he really cares for his sister, the words he said before were just that he was af afraid that her sister incident would make it impossible for her to change school to stay away from bullies, now, his sister only has one hope, when he went to middle school. He would go to a different school than theirs, one day, his younger brother caught Suzuko being bullied and talked by her old friends in prison, only to see that her situation was even more miserable than his own, but the opposite of his younger brother, as for boys, Suzuko was impatient and immediately responded to the troublemakers, showing Vu in their faces and continuously hitting him back. I think my sister is very cool, but behind that coolness is a soul full of wounds. Followed her sister to comfort her and told her to write to her when moved away because she didn't have a phone, finally, the female lead had earned enough money and the first place she went to was a city on the coast and was successful, so Suzuko immediately wrote a letter to her younger brother and encouraged him to do his best, the female lead wanted to earn back the million yen she used to move to the next place. So she applied for a job at a restaurant in on the coast, the shop owner was very enthusiastic in guiding Suzuko work and was very surprised with the talent of the young girl who had just mentioned it but was able to do better than the old employee like her teacher who was once a core employee of the restaurant, Suzuko shop feels very new because this is the first time Eve been praised by others and recognized for my talent, they don't care about her past. Work is very busy but the weather hair is quite clear, health and without many concerns so Suzuko felt very comfortable, there was a young man who noticed her and wanted to approach him, constantly buying things for the female lead or even playing a lot of tricks to not talk but obviously wanting to enter the heart of a girl who has lost faith in humans is very different very quickly Suzuko saved up 1 million yen and moved to a countryside, covered with trees the air here is very fresh as for the scenery, it's no different from the Dresme London like last time, the first thing is still to write. A letter to her younger brother at home, it seemed like her mind is the same, she only has one person to confide in, which is her little brother to look for, the next million yen Suzuko applied for a job at a farm, her job was to harvest agricultural products, in the first nine day of work, Suzuko once again demonstrated her super fast learning ability and was highly praised by the boss, he even gave special name to the new employee, the girl, suddenly one day, while Suzuko was picking peaches. The market came across her and he wanted her to be the representative face of the town, promote the peach growing industry till they can survive because the town is full of old people and only two elementary school kids so Suzuko naturally becomes right person but Suzuko doesn't want to do it because she only been here for a short time not to mention Shia as an introvert, forcing her to become a PG would be very different. 
After thinking carefully, Suzuko decided that she should tell everyone. Clearly to avoid losing the peace, but unexpectedly, in order to force her to do it, everyone in the town did it, gathered to put pressure on Suzuko refused, but received a harsh reaction from everyone, they said that the young girl in the city did not respect the elderly and looked down on the countryside, but Suzuko was no longer the weak girl she was, before letting others control her. She decided on her own without asking for her opinion or feelings, Suzuko had to say that she had a criminal record so she didn't want to affect the whole village and then ran straight out, besides, after that incident, Suzuko could no longer stay in the town, she was forced to continue her journey to another city without enough money, this time, Suzuko went to a fairly developed town one hour away Tokyo by bullet train, if you continue to save enough one million, you will leave, here. Suzuko applied to work at a flower shop and met a very enthusiastic colleague named Nakarima, coincidentally. They are the same age, Nakarima guided her thoroughly, because they live near each other, they both go to work together and go home together, although the work is quite a lot and hard, but fortunately thanks to Nakarima, Suzuko also gradually got acquainted and improved at work, day by day even though we haven't met each other for a long time, Nakarima seems to understand her very well, with a forced smile or a shy nod, he already know what she thinking, as long as Suzuko doesn't like parties, he will cleverly use excuses so that she can leave as soon as possible, the two gradually learn about each other and then unexpectedly, Suzuko tells him all her past, this the first time she trusts someone to come in, let them know without hesitation even the previous trips and earned 1 million yen will leave here when faced with Nakarima question that she will leave here when she earns 1 million yen. But Suzuko hesitates didn't say maybe she was still thinking about this problem then charged. The water bill and then hesitated she was af afraid that she said too much and Nakarima might get scared and use her but surprisingly he confessed right away, hey because Suzuko also liked him to resign so they decided to start dating and go home together Nakarima soon room of course it was messy, so he frantically cleaned up and Suzuko started cooking but before already gave away the rice and it's just over 36,000 yen for Suzuko to be enough for 1 million yen at this time, the store also. Has a female employee applying for a job since then Nakarima has been less frequent with Suzuko and seems to be close to the staff, the new member made her feel very sad, she couldn't concentrate at work and was reprimanded by the manager that night, suddenly Nakarima borrowed money from Suzuko, and she was also very willing to agree all day long Nakarima had more and more money, reason to borrow more money even to pay for another girl coffee he keep forgetting to bring money every time. He goes on a date and all expenses are paid by Suzuko gradually, she thinks that Nakarima knows her only for money so she suspects doubts about his love even she wants to confirm their feelings but no matter how she asks, Nakarima can't say the reason why he still loves but is dating another girl again it's also about using her girlfriend money to go to a stranger, she was tired, so she decided to end this relationship right at this moment when it seemed like it was about to collapse. When Suzuko received a letter from his brother because he was fighting with bullies that caused for an injured child to be sent to a reformatory and his parents decided to change schools to avoid trouble, but the younger brother remembered his older sister before, so he decided not to run away or be shy but to face that fear, for a long time, he would do his best just so that she wouldn't have to be ashamed to read the letter. Then Suzuko burst into tears actually she is not as strong as her brother thinks and she did not stand up to face her fear either, just being really cowardly running everywhere running away from everyone and the past, this time Suzuko decided to leave even though she didn't make enough 1 million yen, she wanted to stand on her own to face the outsider world but there is one what she didn't know was that Nakarima really loved her because he knew would leave when she reached 1 million yen, he kept borrowing money in the hope that she would stay, a little longer pretending to be with another girl as well, just try to make her jealous and yearn for him and then change her mind, he paid off all the borrowed money before she left after a moment of frustration because she didn't want to end up like this, so Nakarima rode his bike to chase Suzuko, but the result is still late, unlike the school that gives you the homework and then tests you, life is the opposite, it gives you a test first to the work you have experienced and the heroine is, only 21 years old just a toddler in life, she has been splashed with cold water to the bone, the more she tries to run away, the more painful it will be, sometimes we have to know how to deal with pain and overcome adversity, then stand firm step forward without fear.